Hi Taurus, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Welcome to your timeless bonus reading. So the idea is that whenever you see this, that's when it was meant to find you. And of course, that being said, don't ever give away your power to tarot. It's just paper. This is merely a tool for self-introspection. And I'm honored to be here to help lead the way. That being said, uh, we're only taking the cards that fly out for you. So I don't pick them. They have to choose you. We're going to start with Oracle. If you'd like for me to pray for you, send you my good juju. Say hi in the comments section so I've got something I can focus on that represents your energy. And then I, of course, encourage all of you guys to do that for each other. I'm going to take this one too. Um, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you enjoy these readings. Only about 30% of you guys have subscribed. So be really great to get that number up. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have organized for your success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. We have take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a certain degree of risk. And you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. It's kind of like the story of the Nautilus shell. Have I told you that? I think I have told you about that. How the Nautilus gets bigger and bigger, that beautiful shell that goes round and round. Only because it takes the risk to leave its old compartment it's grown out of and build a new compartment thus sealing off the old compartment, although it always carries on its back, those experiences, those old compartments, even though it can't go back to them. I know, that was a very quick analogy, very deep. Uh, have courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered, excuse me, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. Um, it's interesting because we do, we all, you know, we often pray to God, but we, uh, we can kind of blind ourselves to the ways that those prayers might be answered. And they do come in the form of circumstances or people, right? My phone was giving me the battery running low sign. All right, so into your tarot reading, Taurus. Uh, what's in store for Taurus at the time that they view this video? What does Taurus need to know at the time of viewing this video? Please make it clear. I'm going to take those. Okay. We have some of your energy here. These came out together. There might be a disagreement, conflict. You may, uh, it might kind of be making one confused or reevaluate certain things. We do have hard work at the center of your reading with the Eight of Pentacles, hard work at something. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this can be money coming through for you or value of some sort, abundance, although it's taken its sweet time because it's the slowest night. Knights are messengers. This, this horse is like standing still. He's like looking down at the grass. Maybe I'll eat right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll eat instead of moving forward, making my way towards Taurus. So, and then we we finish off with your sign. This could be you or somebody else, but this is uh, classically representing uh, Earth signs. The King of Pentacles. Anything we need to know for our Taurus for this conflict that is making you reevaluate reevaluate some things for our Taurus? Do they need to know anything else? Yeah, you might be looking at other possibilities. You might be encouraged to open your mind to different ways of, ooh, Ace of Wands, uh, Cups. Um, things that give you sustenance, that feed you emotionally. Um, so this feels like it could have a lot of inner conflict. You know, this, this conflict card can be outer conflict. It could be other people competing against you or fighting with you about something. But it can also represent inner conflict, which it seems there is some because we've got the two of pentacles kind of being like, I oh, don't know, you know, and reprioritizing things. And maybe we need to change things up, reevaluate. And what feeds you? What gives you sustenance? This is a particular type of sustenance. This is feeding your heart and your emotional self and your spiritual self that way. So it could be love or it could be friendship. 
It could also be something creative, something that really gives you a sense of purpose and fills you up. And so you're, you, the great thing is this is coming out with um, the open-minded page of, of um, wands. This is really asking yourself, what gives me excitement? What makes me feel amazing and alive and enthused again? I love that energy coming out with a five of wands because it's suggesting that you have the wherewithal and the insight to step away from this inner conflict and this confusion and be like, whoa, come back to the drawing board. <sighs> what is me? What makes me excited? What is this all about in the first place? What do I really want? And that, in that moment, you open a door in your life to what's possible. So then we have a hard work card. Some of you guys are working hard on, on your reputation, working hard on social media, on PR, on how you're perceived. That's just some of you guys. Two of Swords. Why oh, we got the Two of Swords for our Taurus? I got your, your card coming. What do you commit to? What are your values that you commit to? That's popping up. Uh, we've got, because we're thinking like long term, what is going to, so there's a lot of discernment in your reading a lot, like so far. It is almost kind of like, what gives me joy versus what is going to have long term benefits? And what you put your hard work, you could put hard work into either or both. But you're trying to now look at this uh, in, informationally. I feel that this is either somebody who's influencing your life on the outside, and it could even be a contract or a lawyer or a strategist or somebody you get advice from, or this could be you that is stepping into this side of your personality that is like, okay, all cups aside, all emotions aside, all that fluffy stuff aside, what is going to pay off in the long run? What do, what do I, how do I make my commitments in this situation? How do I want to commit? And because Taurus, you rule over a hierophant. This is systems of belief, okay? So it rules over institutions as well, religious systems, institution of marriage, all of that. But we create many systems of belief in life in order to hold life into from going out into chaos, it feels like. You know, we have organized for success. And it's not, you know, it's not joking around with saying it sounds funny, but organized organization sounds intimidating to people but it's a simple way to ensure clarity of purpose organizing thoughts your reports your living and workspace so all that gives us a sense of balance and understanding and uh, you know so that's kind of hierophant you know pay it it plays a significant role in our lives but it, at this point you know i think that you have a choice to make between something that feeds your heart and something that's going to feed your sense of stability or your bank account and you're working hard. You know that you got the work ethic. When you when you can back whatever it is, you got that freaking work ethic. And so I do think that the 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 page of swords here. That's the moment where I said some of you guys are working on your social lives and like you know how you're perceived and all that. That's not all of you guys, but this is also this is that uh, window to the outside being open to fresh ideas and listening to people. So you could be listening to the opinions of others. Um, and that could be having a, a real impact on, gosh, which choice do I make? How do I commit to one of, which do I commit to? So now we've got the Knight of Pentacles flying out. The Knight of Pentacles is offering you a gift. It's either a gift of money and uh, or value of some sort, abundance. And it's kind of quiet. It's kind of like, it's it's crickets over here. And it's because that horse is looking down like, maybe I'm going to eat right now. Maybe I can put off the trip going to Taurus and bringing this giant coin. And so in this point where it's like crickets and you really don't know if there's any progress being made whatsoever, that's where you get kind of quiet and you start reevaluating. And I have a feeling this has already started happening. And that's what we're seeing here. Um, we have the hermit, which is kind of reaching down into that wisdom, which I think that a lot of you guys, it's already started happening. And this feel is like, you know, the reevaluated, the reevaluation is needed for sure. And you're kind of asking yourself, do I keep on going and just tenaciously hold on to the belief that that horse carrying the coin is going to stop eating the pasture and just make its way to me? Or... Do I change something up? Do I just like cut my losses? And even if it's hard, even if it hurts, I start, I go into a new direction. I, I, I start this journey. Um, anything else about, anything else about our fool card there? 
Yeah, something's getting unveiled in that moment of reevaluation. Um, you know, the moon comes out upside down, and all of a sudden you can kind of see clearly anything else about this pool that we need to know for our Taurus to make it clear for our Taurus. This is a transformation. And when you zoom out from this whole thing, this is Temperance card. And it's re within that reevaluating that something's going to become balanced so that you can make this journey. You can make a new you can make a new journey in your life. But it's the, the biggest component, important component about uh, this transition, this temperance card, is that balance is key. And so it's calling you to rebalance something. And it could be in particular that you've been waiting way too long for this coin. This damn horse keeps just eating grass. And you know that it's like the, the, the value, the abundance is coming, but it's in the, the lack of seeing it that something is being reevaluated and then rebalanced. So for my, I'm gonna get one more card for my King of Pentacles. And then I'm going to go to an extended and you're welcome to follow me over there. The link will be in the description box below and it's about the price of a cup of coffee. So what do we need to know about this King of Pentacles? King of Pentacles, if you're looking at financials, if you're looking at stability, the King of Pentacles is a fantastic, fantastic sign. Really has the ability to invest wisely and it looks like you're making a recovery here. So it's almost recovery in trusting yourself and your ability to invest wisely with your efforts um and your work uh because we have disappointment here you're recovering from a disappointment um what else do we need to know temperance more transformation you know and i want to say if you guys have not checked out the podcast by guy raz called how i built this it interviews all these huge this is a there's a good point i'm making here <laughs> bear with me um <clears throat> he interviews all these huge entrepreneurs you know people who own major companies that we all use and we know and we love. And they have something in common, I noticed from years of watch, listening to that show, is that they all had what appeared or felt like failures. They were not failures, but they had, they had what appeared or felt like failures right before they had enormous successes. They would never have gotten to that success had they not had this trash experience right before. It was the catalyst to that success. And we don't pay nearly enough attention to that. It's something that I don't know if Guy Raz has actually even mentioned. I imagine he has, because he has to see the pattern by now. If I've seen it, he's seen it. So this is kind of like your reading, is that you're making this recovery in trusting oneself again after a, a disappointment of some sort, but it was, and then there's the collaboration card too, working with others. Um, but it was absolutely required, the reevaluating, coming back to the drawing board. What needs to be tweaked? What's the right decision? Do I feed my heart in this direction? Do I feed um, my practical, logical side in this direction? There's something about that that is the alchemy in the temperance. It is the balancing factor to make that water into wine, you know? And so... With that, I'm going to your extended. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and I hope it was helpful. And um, I'll see you very soon if this is where I leave you. Take good care. Mwah.